we're going to continue right where we left off in the last video. And of course we created this nice thumbnail code, but I forgot to add an anchor tag. So let's go ahead and do that. And you kind of need that for a thumbnail. So let's go ahead and add that. And we're going to add that right here. So of course, we're just going to specify an anchor tag here. And of course, we're going to use an href. And then we're just going to point to our file, which of course is arch.jpg. And since it's in the same folder, we don't need to specify a directory here. Okay, that's good. So now we should get our link. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's load this up in Chrome. And we'll see what we get. And there we go. Take a look at that. Now we've got our hand, and if we click on this, it creates a larger image, which is what a thumbnail is all about. So let's go ahead and close this. Now that we have our code set, we can go ahead and create our image gallery. And you will remember when we talked about the bootstrap grid, you of course first have your container, then your row, and then your columns. But of course, since we already have our row and container specified, all we need is this column right here, all of the code right here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this code right here only to create our second column with our image. And this is why once you get your code set, like I said, it's really easy to create an image gallery in Bootstrap. So let's go ahead and copy this and we're gonna come right down here at this div and hit space a few times. And we're gonna go up one here and then go ahead and copy and paste our new column in. And of course, these two divs right here close out our container and row, but we do not want to copy those over and over again. Again, we just want our column code with our thumbnail. That's all we need. So let's go ahead and save this and let's see what we get. Take a look at that, that looks great. But these are a little bit too large, wouldn't you say? Usually when you have an image gallery with thumbnails, they're much smaller. So let's go ahead and lower the size of these a little bit. So let's make this a two, and let's make this a three. And then let's go ahead and make this a two, and let's make this a three. Good, let's go ahead and save this and we'll reload this. And there you can see that looks a lot better. These look actually like thumbnails. And let's make sure this second one works. And it does, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a bunch of more columns. And like I said, it gets very easy in Bootstrap once you have your code in place. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this over several times. All right, and let's go ahead and reload this and see what we get. And take a look at that. We've got a fully functioning image gallery and Bootstrap is doing almost all of the work for us. Okay, we will continue on with the image gallery in the next video. Thank you.